So here we are. It's almost 50 years since the creation of the NYC. Is this still relevant in today's Nigeria? Has it achieved or is it still achieving what it was set out to achieve? Reconstruct, reconcile and rebuild the country? Today we'll be examining the National Youth Service Corps, the NYSC. We hope to develop an understanding of the NYSC and ask this question. Is the NYC relevant in today's Nigeria? First, for those who do not have any idea of what the NYC is all about in Nigeria, here is an overview of it. The creation of the National Youth Service Corps, the NYC, is an afterthought of the then head of state of Nigeria, General Yakubu Gowon, in 1973. After leading Nigeria to the civil war against the Biafran secessionists from 1967 to 1970, the division in the country reached new heights. In order to restore peace and unity to the country, the NYSC was created. According to the information on its website, the purpose of the NYSC is, and I quote, to reconstruct, reconcile, and rebuild the country after the Nigerian Civil War, end of quote. Meaning, one of the ways to reconstruct, reconcile, and rebuild the nation is to send fresh bachelor's degree and higher national diploma HND graduates to different parts of the country to serve their fatherland for one year. These graduates are posted to different regions of the country, usually to regions that they are unfamiliar with. For example, a graduate from the east may be posted to the north and vice versa. So here we are. It's almost 50 years since the creation of the NYC. Is this still relevant in today's Nigeria? Has it achieved or is it still achieving what it was set out to achieve? Reconstruct, reconcile and rebuild the country? Before now, many have been asking similar questions about the NYC and its relevance in today's Nigeria. I do understand the rationale behind its creation. But like every project, there comes a time where we would pause and have a reflection. I think the time to reflect on the relevance of the NYC, it's long overdue. Before now, I had thought that the program was gradually losing its relevance until I found this report published by Daily Trust titled, Over 80% of Nigerians Reject Scrapping of NYC. The report was said to have been conducted by a data bank and research organization called NOI Pulse. According to NOI polls, those in support of the NYC chose the following reasons. It encourages cultural integration. It is an avenue for exposure and self-development. It helps the youth in many ways. It helps in gaining work experience. It encourages adaptation. It is part of the educational process. Those against the continuation of the scheme chose the following reasons. Security reasons. There is no benefit in NYRC. It is really of no use. The welfare packages are very poor. Some of them had no reason at all. What do you think about the findings from this report? Do you agree with them or not? Can you let us know by leaving your comments below or send us an email? Why 83% of Nigerians voted in support of the NYRC? It is important to state here that the scheme can be much better than it currently is. The scheme is not separated from the problems bedeviling our country, with kidnapping, terrorism, banditry and insecurity being the order of the day in our nation, especially in the northeastern part of the country and its middle belt. These problems facing the country put the survival of the NYC in jeopardy. What will be the fate of Nigerian graduates posted to these areas of the country? What is the government doing to guarantee the safety of our core members and Nigerians in general? Listen to what Darius Ishaku, governor of Taraba State in northeastern Nigeria, has to say about this. Take a listen. Yesterday, the governors of the northeast region met in Jalingo, the capital of Taraba State, and are asking the military to sustain the momentum 
in the fight against insurgency in the region by taking advantage of the current division among the insurgents. If, if you leave me, the, the NYC, I would say, should be two years. One year for compulsory military training and the other year for the social work that they are doing now. So that anybody who graduates as an NYC person can know how to handle the gun, can know how to defend himself. Just like it's done in other countries like in Israel, like in Lebanon and other places. You must engage your citizen to be proactive. When you cannot provide the security, you must allow the people to protect themselves. The governor's remarks are very serious. He's literally outsourcing the burden of combating kidnapping, banditry, terrorism, and insecurity to Nigerian youths. Interestingly, he also mentioned Israel and Lebanon as, as examples of countries that have replicated this idea. My questions to him are, is there sustainable peace in Israel and Lebanon as a result? Wouldn't this idea erode the significance of the creation of the NYSE? I would like to conclude with this quote from William Upe of Naira Metrics. He says, Saving the NYC requires the triangular and synergistic effort between the government, states and federal, academia, and the private sector. Working in tandem, these arms can use the one-year period to equip youths with the skills that they require, not only to function optimally as employees, but also to start and run businesses that create employment opportunities for others. End of quote. Let us know exactly what you think about these issues surrounding the NYC. Please share your thoughts. Remember, together we can make Nigeria and Africa a much better place. And as a matter of fact, I'm counting on you. Hey, thank you for watching this episode. As a matter of fact, um, please subscribe, like, share, comment. We'd love to hear from you. And we'll talk about next episode. As a matter of fact, I'm counting on you.